The Rabbit and Gina Podcast. You know, I'll, I'll always, I'll always look for a bargain. I know you love a bargain. I do love a bargain. You're good at finding bargains. Yeah. And you're good at sharing about it as well and yeah. helping others find bargains, like me. I'm thinking of setting up. I've always wanted to do like a rabbit reviews kind of thing. Oh, it's got a real ring to it. Yeah. So people, so um, businesses send me their things for free, yeah. and then I say um, favorable things about their product. Yeah. Even if I don't like it, because then other businesses will send me stuff for if free. I like this business model. Yeah, it all falls over um, as soon as other people buy it and go, "What? This thing's rubbish." <laughs> I'm never trusting that guy again. So oh, that, you I have know. to be honest. You've got to be like Richard well, Wilkins when he does a movie review. You've got to be honest. You can't just say everything's fabulous. Well, is he paying for his movie ticket? That's the thing. When you pay for it, <laughs> then you've got every right to be yeah. honest and everything about it. Yeah. There's these guys on YouTube that like, yo, what's up? It's your man Floss. I'm here reviewing <laughs> the new iPhone 14. Let's check it out. Yo. That's the... <laughs> the the last bit was really bad, but the first bit, <laughs> exactly. your what's up is your boy Floss. I could go to one of his videos and right that's now exactly on what YouTube he says, like, and he'll start up going, yeah. yo, what's up, it's your boy Floss. <laughs> and then, and he's got a cat that sits next to him. At, what's the cat's name? Boots, I think. <laughs> Shout out to my man Boots. <laughs> And he just points to the cat, and his cat's up on the desk all the time. I love it. He he reviews all tech stuff. Oh, I well, think, he would get that. He would get it sent to him for I free. I think he gets it sent to him for free. But yeah. then he's honest about them. He will. Yeah. He'll go. Eh. Honestly, the Samsung such and such is better than this one and yeah. this. And it's just straight up honest reviews. And I guess if you have a product and you go, no, it, it is really you'd good. Send it. You'd send it. Yeah. And, and you risk that he's going to go. Eh. The such and such is better, better yeah, or something, yeah. but at least you, you know, get millions mentioned. of people. Yeah. Flossie Carter. God, I think I just remember Isn't that name. amazing how that's a job that yeah. didn't exist how long ago? You know, like making lots of money out of doing something like that. Yeah. I mean, you're in the minority probably if you're having a big career. Now, let me, um, big boxes. let me hit play on one of his videos and see if he says, no, we, we won't actually, I don't know what he's going to say. <laughs> yeah, see, so you're a bit worried. <laughs> I don't think he ever swears. He just talks about his cat and, yeah. and the latest phone and, and stuff like that. So um, I, uh, I do watch a lot of reviews before I buy things. You are a researcher. For, yeah. Uh, like if ever I want to buy anything new, just I'll mention it to you me. first because you, you know all about it. Yeah. And I don't, even, I don't have a long turnaround. Yeah. Oh, God, another business idea. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. you say you're thinking of buying something, yes. but can't be bothered finding out Me if it's a good idea. Can't be bothered. Yeah. You, All right, then. you do the research. Give me 10 minutes. Okay. I'll watch eight reviews. <laughs> Eight review videos. Let you know. I'll read through all the all the reviews on that. a product. We all need that person in our life who helps yeah. us to buy stuff. Uh, when, a, the, when you're making those big decisions like a washing machine, mm-hmm. you know. See, now there's some things. So this is what I found last night, right? Last night I had to cook nachos. Yeah. Um. Cooking's not really a, it's a bit of a stretch of a term when it's nachos. No, I used to. Oh, did you cook the mints? Of course I did. What well, do you that's mean? Cooking. What are you having raw nachos? <laughs> that's cooking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you'd, Sab didn't cook the mints and you just put it together. No. That's not cooking. I can do the whole thing. <laughs> okay. But um, it reminded me of the one thing that I, I have spent money on, right? And, and it was hard to wrap the head around at the time because, good God, who spends $2,000 <gasps> on a cooking Appliance. I know. Nobody else that I know, only you. Do you not have any other Thermomix friends? Nope. God, None. I'm so bougie. It's, it's, it's so bougie. That, it's always good to have one bougie, yeah. you know, friend. Yeah. Yeah. Anywho, so <laughs> what happened was Sav was going back to teaching full time yeah. about six years ago. And uh, and for her to do that, it meant I was going to have to step up and make dinner every night because oh. she was working down uh, halfway to Sydney. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so I went, all right, well, I can do it. I'll make dinner every night. I'll get right into it and yeah. stuff. Within minutes, I bought a Thermomix. <laughs> Like Sav- because you can just chuck everything in and it does it itself. Sav's cooked for how many years without without a Thermomix? <laughs> yeah. Day one of me going, I'll cook dinners. I'll buy a $2,000 appliance. <laughs> how many nights of takeaway? That was probably, you know, like, I don't know, three, oh, girl year, math, three don't years you worry. of takeaway. So what happened last night? I had to make nachos. I have been doing much cooking hardly at all lately. Oh. And uh, and as part of that, oh, and I'd made a smoothie earlier in the day as well for Tiana. A smoothie in the Thermomix? Of course. It's so, really so what do you chuck? Banana. Hey, this milk. is not a Thermomix. Um, this is not my Thermomix <laughs> review. But if you want to come around, I'm hosting a party soon, so I can get a free lid. <laughs>
I also have some fantastic Avon um, products <laughs> as well, and a timeshare. I think you might be interested in on the Gold Coast. So I do this thing. I thought, and then and then I um, cut up the onions in the in the Thermomix to yeah, three seconds on speed six. <laughs> done. Onions are done, and, uh, and then I chuck them into the pan. And then I looked at the onion and I went. I don't think the blades are as sharp as they used to be. Oh. Six years I've had this thing. Oh, well, they wouldn't be. So I found blades on eBay for $32. Oh. Um, and uh, no reviews on them. Right. So I actually went and I bought the proper Thermomix blades online. My model's six years old. Yeah. I've not replaced the blades in all yeah, of that time. pretty good. But I bought the Ridgy Didge ones. And uh, Sav reminds me, here we go once again. This is just like when you started cooking and you had to go and buy the Thermomix. <laughs> I asked you to do nachos <laughs> one night and you bought these ridiculously expensive blades. The Rabbit and Gina podcast. I like to call this next section Cat Chat. Oh. Yeah. It's, oh, we it's don't a do one, uh, it's a once off. Well, hang on. Let me just uh, bring in the, uh, the jingle. Cat Chat. <laughs> Sorry, maybe, you didn't, you. maybe you didn't hear the wording there. Catch ass! Catch ass! Suits, stray cats! Catch ass! Wow! Catch Good. Well, we've got an opener for it now. Yeah, great. It's just, it's one off, though. Well, we don't talk so, about cats no, a lot. No, we don't, because you're a real dog person, don't clearly. You? Don't make it like it's my fault. <laughs> no, you're a real dog lover, and mostly people are divided. They're either cat lovers or dog lovers. You know the generally. cats I like? The ones that are like dogs. Yeah. You know, whenever people are like, no, 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 my cat's completely different. I love cats, but my my cat's different. It, like, it'll come to you when you call it. It, it does tricks and stuff. And yeah. It, it, it's, you're super companion. It never scratches you. I'm like, you're, dis- you're describing a dog. Your, yes. cat, your cat is like a dog and that's why you love it. But look, I, th- I see the advantages of people with cats because you can go out and leave Take the cat at them. home and it's not as, as needy. Like it doesn't have to go for a walk and it's, it's mm, a little more okay. self-sufficient. It doesn't. And well, you know why? Because it's got all these servants working for it. <laughs> that's right. Well, they say dogs have families and cats have servants and stuff. Yes. Yeah, yes. cats have stuff. Well... Yeah, our friends have got cats, and and because we're not particularly cat people, but I do appreciate those cat people. I get it. There's one cat in particular. That as soon as Rod and I get there, it just comes over and rubs all over us. You know how they can just tell oh, that you're not lovely. really. It wants us to love her, her, uh, him, her. That's how her. you got it. Oh, okay. Her, I think it's a her. Yeah. What's its name? Uh, cat. Uh, no, because then they'll know which cat. They're probably listening. I nearly said it. <laughs> how many of your friends have cats? Um, Only one. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I think they already know it's them and their cat they're talking about. What colour's the cat? Black. See, so now we're Kenya. getting pretty specific okay, now. Okay, Kenya is her oh. name. Isn't that a cool name? Kenya. I don't think that's a dude name. You I know, think they, I think cat. she's a girl. And that's She's named because they went to Kenya. They've been on holidays over there many years ago and they named the cat that. But, oh. yeah, she comes over and rubs all over this you. This is our other cat, but South then she Africa. Gets, she <laughs> this this is our turtle, New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but she gets her. She's really old, and her nail, her her claws come out, and she'll come over to give you a little rub and cuddle and stuff. But yeah. she can't put the claws back in, and they're like, ah, ah, you know, like, so oh, she can not retractable of, claws. Sometimes oh. <laughs> it's also a, a lawyer thing. This is a non retractable claws. <laughs> <laughs> Well done. Get them mixed up all That's the time. <laughs> Wolverine is a lawyer. He has retractable claws. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I have a bit of an issue. Yeah. So this weekend uh, we're off to the Malden Folk Festival. Mm. It's a, a big music festival down in um, just outside of Melbourne. Uh huh. Been there a couple of times. Absolutely love it. But the yeah. town is so small. It's one of those ones where we're there for four days and yeah. you you go around and there's all different venues within the town. Like sometimes we'll be playing in the town hall. Sometimes we'll be under a, a big, uh, big top. Oh yeah, okay. Tent, or and sometimes oh, how we'll fun. be. Yeah, and, it, and it's walkable to yeah. each thing. It's it's fantastic. It's so fun. Yeah. But the town is so small, mm. it doesn't have a motel, so we get billeted. This is very unusual because normally we're you know in a. Oh, this is a, the best. In, yeah. Hang on a second. I haven't done billeting since so, rugby when I was thirteen years old, so. and we went over to Tiaomudu and we stayed at <laughs> stayed at a. You stay at the opposition players' oh, That's house. weird, isn't it? Yeah. yeah like the guy that. you're going to smash yeah. on Saturday yeah, morning. Yeah, we did that with Jackie when he was playing rugby. Yeah, you're it's having cool. spaghetti with his parents the night and before. They, and they beat you. 
Oh, they're going to beat you tomorrow. Yeah. Well, yeah, similar. Well, similar, so but there's cool. no competition. Who, who are you billeting with? Well, we're staying with Pam, and she's the boss. Oh, she, Pam. She, she runs the whole festival. She's lovely. Tell she's you right so now, lovely. Pam's got cats. Well, the first time we ever went, because you know me and a nana nap, and my, my super power yes. is I can nana nap. Yeah. And I've learnt it from touring all these years. If yeah. I need a quick 15 minutes mm-hmm. in a car, on a plane, anywhere, have it so that I'm fresh for a show. It's one of the lesser known Avengers. <laughs> this uh, this one with the superpower of just being able to have a nap at any point. Super napper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Captain America doesn't come knocking on your door. <laughs> so I get to her house for the first time ever and I say to Rod, I'm just going to go and have a quick nap because we had a late show that mm. night. We'd flown. We'd been up since like 5 a.m. Mm-hmm. to get there. I'm in the bed yeah. having a nap. A cat nap? I was... <laughs> Yes, mm-hmm. I'm having a cat nap, yes. and something moves in the bed next to me under the covers. There's a cat under the covers. Under the covers in the, in bed. the bed. In the bed. My, my Your bed. Your bed. My bed. Not the bed next to you. Oh, in the bed. In the next Actually, to you. Actually, in the bed. <laughs> there's a cat in the bed. I'm like, ah! I ran out and I go, Rod, get it out, get it out. He goes, I can't do that. It's a cat in it's the, the bed. Ca- in the bed. And I went, I can't sleep. I can't sleep. I can't, there's a cat and it's in the bed and it when it turned over and You're it Hang on, like me. it's a tiger. I was, I was it's scared. A cat. I was scared of it because here's the thing: I'm in its bed, so then it's yeah. giving me the stink eye the whole time oh, we're there no. because I'd have to keep that door shut so I wouldn't go back in and be in bed when I got home mm-hmm. that night. And the cat's looking at me every time I'd walk past. It, go, Whoa. now is it going to remember me? <laughs> oh, it'll remember you like a magpie. <gasps> What's going to happen? You're going to come in the in the you're going to you're going to go walking towards that bedroom. Yeah, and you're going to see the cat through the doorway. Just lift its paw up and slowly close the door <laughs> <laughs> while it peers around the edge of the doorway watching you as the door closes. And then turn around and give me the stink eye from the Your stink eye, and the then back. it's sitting there with a little nail file <laughs> yeah. sharpening its claws. I'm scared. <laughs> Good luck. The Rabbit and Zena Podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.